Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. My name is Riley Brown, and for this first video on my channel, I will be talking about my uh, goals of this channel, a uh, brief timeline of my life so far with a hearing loss, and kind of about who I am, and like I said, why I'm making this channel. So before I begin that, um, for those of you who watched my previous videos on this channel, it was under a different name called Tox Tanks. I made videos about the game World of Tank Splits. And I've since moved on from that. That was two years ago. And that's not the style of videos that I want to produce anymore. Instead, I want to produce videos that talk about my hearing loss and document that. And I hope that my new style of content uh, still interests you and I can bring you a different kind of video for your cue. Um, and for those of you watching for the first time, my name is Riley, like I said. I'm 17 years old and I have a neurological hearing loss in both of my ears and I do wear hearing aids and I'll try to whip those out. I wear two hearing aids right now and on this channel I'll be documenting my life um, before I receive a cochlear implant uh, which is in three weeks. Um, three weeks I'm going into surgery and then afterwards so I, my goal is um, like within a couple days after my surgery document as much as I remember and I should remember everything. I definitely want to be paying a lot of attention. This is going to be a life-changing part of my life and I hope that um, it, you know with this I can document for myself but also for you guys all the viewers and I also hope that I can answer any questions that anyone else has um, anyone with a hearing loss anyone with hearing aids um, I can't necessarily answer questions about uh, for people with a cochlear implant because I'm just getting one but I can talk about the experience of getting one and leading up to it and what qualifies you to get a cochlear implant from my knowledge um, or I can also talk to you any like I can answer any questions about people that are curious about what a hearing loss is uh, how it affects you what kind of things you can do for it like the technological advancements that help you um, and I think that's really good to have a different perspective than a, a professional's exp um, perspective like a doctor um, we're all used to going to professionals for things but they don't actually have, and most most uh, <laughs> most of the time, they don't actually have a hearing loss. So, well, they can, they have a lot of expertise in the field, and they've been studying for years and years. They don't ever actually wear them, and they don't ever they don't live their life with them. I've lived 13 years with these in my ears, so I can give you much better, um, like like advice and you know, talk about my experiences a lot better than a doctor would be able to describe for you. So to get everyone familiar what life has been like with a hearing loss, um, or I've just been wearing hearing aids so far, like I said, I'm just going to kind of go through a brief timeline about the story of my life and, you know, from starting where I was born to where I am now, or other way around, where I was born to where I am now, and kind of get you guys up to date so you understand how I've gotten to where I am, to where in three weeks I'll be heading into surgery at Georgetown, um, getting my CIs. So I was born in 2005, right here in Northern Virginia, where I still am now. And as a baby, I passed my newborn hearing assessment and no issues or abnormalities were like found on those tests. Like I was just normal when I was born, um, which is interesting because only four years later, I was getting brought into the doctor's office for a hearing loss. So. I'm not really sure what happened in between them or if I was born relatively normal and then I had it but I only started losing my hearing progressively like when I was four. I'm not really sure how, how it happened. It's There's not really any definite reason why. Um, but nothing really happened like I said when I was until I was like four or five in 2009 or 10. And I got into a lot of trouble when I was around that age and my parents didn't really know why they thought I was either ignoring them or I just couldn't hear. And it started when they were saying things to me and I started tilting my head towards them, kind of like pointing my ears when they would say something to me. So they, at this time, when I was four, I moved to Massachusetts, from Virginia to Massachusetts. Um, I've since moved back to Virginia. So I'm back in Virginia now. But in Massachusetts, they brought me to Massachusetts Eye and Ear, which is a hospital in Boston that specializes in eye and ear um, treatment and stuff like that. Um, and my parents have thought that I had like swelling in my ears. So basically 
swelling would like block sound from going in so i need like tubes and tubes would clear it up but upon uh doctors doing like tests and stuff they found out i actually had like a neurological hearing loss and i was given my first pair of hearing aids which were baby blue um hearing aids there the brand was phonak um it was that was my first hearing aids and i remember when i put them in it was actually it was a very weird experience because everything was very loud for me when i first put them in and i was like screaming and in, in the hospital I, not i was scared i was like really happy like, wow i can hear so much better and the doctor's like hey you're like batman because i was like a superhero with my hearing aids and that was very very cool i briefly remember like i can barely remember it but that's one thing i was like hey the doctor's saying you're batman um and in 2012 that was three years later i was in second grade i switched to a little bit larger um they were 10 hearing aids and they were the same brand phonak and nothing was really going on at this point it was basically just switching through hearing aids um as my life went on because my ears you know you should grow your ears get bigger so you need different kinds of hearing aids and stuff to help keep your hearing at a good level or make sure you're still hearing as much as you need to hear um, and in 2014 and 2015, I switched again to my current pair, which I have now. And that's a different brand. It's called Odicon. And these are like a dark brown. And so I've gone through four, three pairs, three pairs of hearing aids so far in my life. Um, and the coolest thing about these, um, definitely my favorite pair because they're water resistant. So I can do sports with them and not have to worry as much about them getting damaged. And they're Bluetooth. So can listen to music through them i don't have to get like the airpods and stuff like that um that was it for switching hearing aids and my hearing was stable until around 2015 2016 i was going into middle school as a sixth grader and my hearing tests were starting to go down at a little bit of a a larger rate than my previous tests um trends were starting to point to the possibility of eventually needing a cochlear implant somewhere down the line and it was really like it was only a possibility at that point like it was just like bring my doctor was just bringing it up she's like maybe eventually you might need this if your hearing goes down more or it starts progressing progressively getting worse so i kind of just ignored it it's like you know I'm, i'll be fine maybe i'll just start flatlining i'll go normal like it will stay at this level um i was probably at like six, 50 60 percent around that time um and it was still going down and then the topic started getting brought up again in 2019 or 2020 so i was like a freshman in, in high school not college i was about to say college um, my levels were at like kind of an all-time low and it, that's kind of where they are now and i was told i would likely get the cochlear implant before going into college and this is when it hit me that my hearing was really fading um currently i only have 30 percent of my hearing left so now I, I know I need the CI, um, especially in my junior year, which is last year, I'm, I'm a rising senior. I noticed I was missing a lot of things that my friends would say, or when I repeated things back, it would be completely different to what they would say. Um, I'm a runner and I miss what my coach would say sometimes, get, get, getting the wrong workout. Um, I also often would not know that I'd be missing things. So people would say things to me and I wouldn't, I just wouldn't hear it at all. So I wouldn't know that I'm missing it. So if someone tried to talk to me about something that I talked about earlier, I might not know what it was. And it's not because I was ignoring them. I just simply, I didn't know they were talking to me. I just couldn't hear. Um, and the same thing happened. Like sometimes I miss tiny things in notes, like a sentence, um, not much because there's presentations on the board. So that made it a little bit easier, a little bit. Uh, yeah, I have a little speech disorder from this hearing thing too as you can see like I miss my L's and stuff um or when I say my name like Riley I might miss the R or say W so as I was saying before this has made it so I've kind of missed a lot of social events or at least I think I have um during my life but especially in high school with the cochlear implant CI uh, that'll bring my hearing back to the 80% range and my quality of life will go up exponentially. And that's something I really, really want. I mean, having close to a normal ability of hearing again, even if I have to lose my residual hearing, which I'll talk about in uh, a future video, I'll probably, I, I want to get all these videos in before surgery. 
Um, so then after I can focus on recovering and then talking about what it's like after, but I'll, I'll talk about like um, what the coke will do for me and how it works. Um, I think that's going to be everything for uh, this video. So thank you guys so much for watching today's like intro video. Um, I hope my story gave you like an insight on life with hearing loss. And I really, I want you guys to ask me any questions that you have. Feel free to ask me anything in the comments and I'll either make a kind of like a question answering compilation video or a dedicated video to just that question. If it's um, that deep of a question or something, if you all would prefer, I can live stream answering the questions. Um, so it can be live there and if you have any questions, I can just answer them on the spot. And my next videos will be documenting more about my hearing loss, like I said, um, speaking about what the CI will do for me as I get closer to going into surgery in three weeks. Um, and once again, thank you so much for watching. Like if you liked the video, subscribe if you want to keep on hearing about my story and um, have me answer some questions. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.